We want to protect and promote respect for the rights of um, victims um, of gender-based violence. And so we want to get all the judicial actors together because we realize how we have to act in sync uh, to push this agenda. Um, last year we, we did some trainings with the police um, and uh, clinical officers, health officials. And uh, this year we are con concentrating on the judicial officers. The judicial actors play a critical role in the dispensing of justice. Um, and um, for victims of GBV or gender-based violence, um, getting accessing justice is one of the things that, that's very critical. So we felt the need to connect with the judicial actors and then uh, to push uh, so that together we can push this agenda. Uh, recently, the, uh, the president came up with an initiative for zero, zero tolerance for um, FGM. And that's been one of the um, uh, things that we are pursuing uh, in, in Meru County to ensure that by 2023, we don't have any issues of uh, female genital mutilation, which is um, one of the forms of gender-based violence. Um, when it comes to issues of accessing justice, um, it's not just the judicial officers that have problems. We have the victims or the survivors of um, gender-based violence. Sometimes the court fees is so high. It's so high and um, they are unable to access um, justice just for the fact that they are indigent. They do not have that money uh, to, push for, to push that agenda. Um, sometimes the courts are far removed from... Um, people who suffer gender-based violence. So if you ask them to go to court, it becomes a, a, a huge problem. We have institutional problems uh, in, or institutional hurdles when it comes to accessing justice for victims of gender-based violence. And the current uh, court, court processes when it comes to gender-based violence uh, are, are awesome. You have the protection orders like restraining orders, uh, occupation orders, you could be ordered to, for counselling and other services and it's all there in the law. But to procure those um, protection orders is very expensive. One um, protection ex parte application, would, you would, uh, a, a lawyer who may have to use about 30, 40 A4 sheets just for one application. And uh, so what we are proposing is that we have to have very easy um, downloadable templates um, readily available for victims of um, uh, gender violence.